Hey there, welcome to day 26 of our free 30 day get up and go challenge. Sharon Horn Elsham here. We are going to be covering confidence, the area of confidence, and the soap framework and applying the soap framework to the area of confidence for our life. Now, I don't know if you pick main categories or areas of your life to set goals in. Do you set goals for your life? Ah, the vast majority of people on the planet don't. They just live their lives day to day and whatever happens, happens. But there's a small percentage of the population, the most successful, by the way, percentage of the population that actually sets goals. If you write down your goals, they're 95% more likely to be achieved than if you don't write them down. There's little things like that that you can learn that if you just do simple little things, they can make all the difference in your life, whether you're struggling or whether you're moving through your life in a way that feels good for you. So today we're going to talk about the area of confidence. I added confidence last April to my I had seven categories of my life that I've always broken down and set my goals and objectives to. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, and contribution. And then in April, I added confidence and communication because they are two areas of everybody's life, mine included, that I wanted to be continually improving in. I never had any coaching in it. And with the pandemic and everything, I ran across a challenge. Imagine that, a challenge that got my attention, did the challenge, and... Then, of course, bought into the, the program for a year-long coaching in the area of core capabilities like confidence and communication, NLP. It's an, an NLP actual expert, and I really have never studied NLP. I've read some things, but never really studied it. So neuro-linguistic programming, and I've always been attracted to words. I do a daily share where I talk about an idiom, where it came from, what does it mean, and how might you apply it to building and growing your business, supersizing your business. And so obviously I've always been interested in language and words and communication and confidence. We all need a boost in our confidence depending on the situation. So I added confidence and communication. We'll talk about confidence today. We'll talk about contribution tomorrow and we'll talk about communication uh, and run through the SOAP framework with that on whatever day after tomorrow. How's that? I don't have to remember what day of the week it is. So Today, our tool is going to be hypnosis or self-hypnosis. Why hypnosis or self-hypnosis? Because it's a really powerful way to work on our subconscious and our conscious at the same time, knock down some of the barriers, which a lot of times the barriers to our confidence are, are self-inflicted, right? Based on our past experiences, we have thoughts and feelings and beliefs about our level of confidence, depending on the situation. In in our past experiences will determine how confident we are going into new situations. Uh, we talked about affirmations the other day. And one of my personal affirmations that helped me to be more confident over the years has been, um, everything works out perfectly for me because the universe is rigged in my favor. I don't remember who I heard that from. It was decades ago from a, a you know personal development leader. And that just struck me as what a powerful thought to have in your subconscious that whenever you need a little boost of confidence, you can remember everything works out perfectly for me because the universe is rigged in my favor. And when we believe that, all of a sudden we start to see all the ways that the universe is helping us to achieve what we want or that the world is really neutral and it's up to us to pick out the positive things that we want to take forward with us in the world. So <clears throat> before we get started, well, let's just go into this. So hypnosis, we're going to apply our SOAP framework to hypnosis so in the area of confidence using hypnosis or self-hypnosis now I have a friend named Victoria Gallagher who has got an app online and I actually bought it in August I'd known about it since she launched a couple of years ago I think but uh, I've I've been a non regular hypnosis participant until August when I found her app and I was looking for a tool to talk about with respect to confidence and I thought well, geez, she's got a whole series in there about um, confidence. So there's like, I don't remember, I should have looked it up this morning, but there's like maybe eight or nine different confidence hypnosis that you can listen to her series that increase your confidence. So it's a great tool for working on our subconscious, which is all about what the soap framework is, to feel better about ourselves or to give us the boost that we need to be confident in any situation that we find ourselves in. So we're going to talk about the 
SOAP framework with respect to confidence or hypnosis. How can hypnosis help our confidence? Well, what's my current story? What's the S? What's my current story? What am I telling myself right now about my confidence in this, any given situation or in a particular, pick a particular situation? Maybe you get anxiety when you go to holiday gatherings. We all got together for Christmas yesterday. <clears throat> I was talking about in the idiom share today about uh, we'll never hear the end of it. And I don't know about you, but as a child, we heard childhood stories, right? Every time we'd get together as a family, everybody's different conversations would be telling stories about this or that that we did that was maybe embarrassing or or shameful or stupid. And we maybe didn't want to hear those stories over and over again. So you might not be super confident heading into family situations or family events or career or <clears throat> job or business. I mean, the best, the reason most people don't start a business ever is because they don't have the confidence. They don't believe in themselves. They don't think that they will succeed. Um, how confident are you as a parent? So pick an area that you don't necessarily feel 100% confident in and think about that as we go through this SOAP framework. I'm going to, trying to think about one. I, I didn't think about one ahead of time. How about stepping out of my comfort zone? Actually, anything we don't feel comfortable with is requiring us to squeak the edge of our comfort zone or to step outside our comfort zone to do something new. Every time we do something new, we literally have to step out of our comfort zone. So, and confidence, the more confident we are in our ability to survive anything, the easier it is to step out of our comfort zone. So let's say I want to do, I want to launch a new workshop and it's outside my comfort zone because I've never done a workshop on that topic before. And um, I'm, I'm not 100% confident about it. So that's my current situation. My desired situation is I want to successfully launch this workshop that will help people get uh, the result that they want in whatever area. So what am I, so that's my story I'm telling myself. Well, that creates a gap, right? I don't, and I'm not 100% conf confident to launch this workshop and I want to be 100% and I want to launch this workshop. So that creates the gap between my current situation and my desired situation, where I am now versus where I want to be. Well, how am I going to fill that gap through the rest of the SOAP framework? So the O in our SOAP framework is options. What are the possible options that I have to increase my confidence from where I am to where I want to be? Well, there's seven ways that you can instantly increase your confidence. I want to share those quickly so that we all have at least these seven things in our toolbox. So whenever we need a quick instant boost of confidence, we can get it. Number one, our posture. If you're slouching and sloping and looking down and sad and, and frowning, guess what? That's the message you're sending across. That is not a confident message. That if you automatically sit up straight and then number two, smile, that will increase your confidence. A smile will go light years in increasing our confidence and increasing other people's confidence in us. Number three, give yourself a little pep talk. Think about the times in the past when you have successfully done maybe not the exact same thing you want to do, but something similar. Now, I've never done this particular workshop before, but I've done a lot of other workshops. I taught a course at the university without, not university without walls, at, um, in Minnesota, I taught a, it's been so long now, a course, it actually was in network marketing. <laughs> That's how long ago it's been. I taught a course in network marketing to help people understand and decide what network marketing company was right for them and what they should, could pick. And so that's that's really different than what I normally do nowadays. So if I could teach a course at a university in that, then I can absolutely positively pull off a workshop probably on just about any subject imaginable. So that helps to make me feel better. Number four, ask yourself, what is the worst that could happen? Well, I could do all the work, I could prep, I could lead this workshop and nobody would show up or it would totally flop or I would forget to say things. Guess what? Every single day when I do a video like this even, I forget to say things. Every time I go through the Get Up and Go Challenge, after I stop filming, I'm like, oh, I totally forgot to say this. And I do that because I can't see my notes very well, my, my limited vision. So I forget to say things. We can't remember everything. But it it always works out, right? Because we can continually improve. Number five, primp. Get cleaned up. Take a shower, wash your hair, fix your hair, fix your hair. Do your face or whatever is appropriate for you. Do things that make you feel better. If you want to feel more confident, 
dress up a little bit, dress more confidently. Number six, eat something healthy, or I say drink a big glass of water. Eat something healthy or drink more water, and that will make you feel more confident as well. And number seven, which is probably one of my favorite ones, breathe. Remember, a lot of times when we're not feeling confident, we'll breathe shallowly or we'll just upper chest breathe or nasal breathe, and we want to make sure we're breathing deeply and confidently and actually slowly and relax. If we're breathing slowly and deeply and relax, it relaxes us, but it also comes off as more confident. So those are seven things you could do right now of, uh, to fill and help with the O of what are possible options? What are ways I can increase my confidence from where I am to where I want to be? So we can pick one of those and take action immediately. I just took deep breaths. I thought about times when I've done something that I wasn't confident in 100% before, but as soon as I did it I would, and it worked out, then it increased my confidence. What well, was an off-the-wall topic? Well, this is a different topic for me. So if I've done it before, chances are I can do it again. That makes me feel more confident. Um, so the tool, let's, let's talk about hypnosis since I'm forgetting about hypnosis. That's our main tool today. How could we use hypnosis or self-hypnosis to uh, increase our confidence on a, a longer basis to ensure we're automatically making progress? One thing I've started doing, and actually it's preparation for next year's annual challenge, is doing and listening to one of actually Victoria Gallagher's hypnosis's every single day. Uh, usually in the morning or, or right at night before, as I'm falling asleep, I'll listen to a hypnosis. Now, I've listened to a lot of different hypnosis over the year. YouTube has hundreds of thousands of different hypnosis and self-hypnosis videos if you're looking for free ones. There's free ones. Victoria Gallagher on her HipCloud app has, I think, a dozen free ones. And then she's got 500 other hypnosis on all different topics. But, you know, career, mindset confidence, relationships, sexuality, all kinds of things that you might want to work on in your life that will all give you more confidence, right? If we improve in any area or aspect of our life or we feel better about ourselves in any area or aspect of our life, that automatically increases our confidence in all the other areas and aspects of our life. That's why I love confidence and communication. A little bit doesn't just impact our ability to communicate or the confidence or ability to step out of our comfort zone. It impacts all the areas and aspects of our life. So progress. How do we know we're making progress? What I've been doing and I'm going to continue to do is, and I'll go back to and listen to the confidence ones. I've been just randomly picking one every day. Now I will for the next, I'll commit right now, seven days, I will listen to the confidence sessions. I'll pick one a day and listen to one of the confidence sessions. How many ever there are, seven, eight, or nine days, and see how that makes me feel in terms of my level of confidence uh, and my ability to deliver that workshop. And then I'll actually take action and schedule and do the workshop. So our action item today is to pick and choose and listen to some hypnosis on the topic of confidence. Pick and find one. Run through the SOAP framework and think about your level of confidence, the S, the O, the A, the P, and how hypnosis could help you in each of these areas. And I like it because it's something that I can easily put into my daily routine. And I'm automatically getting a benefit in the area of confidence in my life. But that's, in turn, impacting all the other areas and aspects of my life, too. And that's called leverage. And I am a big fan of leverage. So our action item today, listen to a confidence hypnosis, either that or read a confidence self-hypnosis. There's books on self-hypnosis. There's there's thousands of sites on the internet on self-hypnosis. Uh, one of my favorite books, Lynn Grabhorn, has a meditation self-hypnosis type um, reading at the end of each of the chapters of her workbook. I think they might be in her book as well, but I can't remember. I'm more familiar with the workbook. Uh, so that is, our, that is it today. That is our confidence soap. Go through our confidence soap framework and then share in the comments below um, one lesson that you learned by listening to the the recording. Now, one of the lessons I first learned about hypnosis and listening to hypnosis via YouTube or on, online or anything is that it almost automatically takes me out of a conscious state into a, a, a semi-sleep state, and then I usually just fall asleep. And so I don't consciously hear more than a minute even of 
the hypnosis. I used to be able to stay awake for five minutes and now it's like within a minute, boom, I'm out. But guess what? The message is still getting through to my subconscious, which is most important because our subconscious is really our driver. All right. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow. Have an awesome day.